Car seat. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna put room. that in your back seat. You got room, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make one right now. Put your hat on, mommy. Welcome to Chicago. And you ready? You ready, mommy? Last time you came here, you were four or five months? Last time we came here, my dad brought us and was um a little baby. A little baby. You ready, Ian? You ready, Ian? Wait, Let's go. Tip, um, we got a gas station. To... What up? We at the auto show, G. <laughs> Better get it's in. It's a must. Last time I've been here was um two years ago. So it's a must. We come back <laughs> with the big guy this time. Last time I was here with my dad, I ain't vlog. I don't even think I was vlogging then. No, I was. I just hadn't really returned back to YouTube like after my little maternity leave and stuff yet. I wasn't really posting videos and stuff yet. But we're back. Okay. Got my beanie today. Okay. I'm about to keep up the games while I'm here though. See who's winning. Okay, let me turn the camera around. Y'all yeah, have seen enough of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. The nation's largest auto show. Oh, okay. I love the auto show. Because I love cars. It's a cars. She got baby shock on her mind. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the gentleman. What up? <laughs> she said, what up? Okay, we're inside. Ann didn't even need a voucher. I bought one for her. All right, let's start checking out the cars. This is a Ford. Looks like a spaceship to me. I like the fact you can do this. Yeah. You wanna take off your coat? You chilling, Ian? She checking it out, honey. I know y'all wanna see the um, luxury cars, though. We'll get to them. Ford got some nice stuff, though. I practically grew up with this car. My dad drove Explorers when we were little. It's pretty nice. Yes, it is. So I guarantee it's the top of the line right here. Yeah. Probably 145 to 48 Ford. You mean you want to give team one and team two a prize? You know what? I think they deserve it too. Come on guys, this way. Oh yeah. Thank you, Shawnee. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. No, he did not. It's like something off of a movie. You see the interior? Wow. Look at that. Look at the speedometer and shit. <laughs> Body work on that thing. Look at the caddy. Look at that back seat. Look at that interior. El Dorado, yep. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Eee. Nasty. 
They got the, the cocktail glasses. <laughs> Look at the detail on this thing. I'm cracking up at the seats in the back though. It's like circular. Yeah. That's some player stuff right there. Look at the there. steering wheel. Like I'm seeing something new every time I think yeah. about it. I don't know if you know the wheels Oh wow. Maybe I wouldn't even want The wheels are changing colors. My battery is dying. I'm gonna so have an extra one in my bag. <laughs> what in the west side is going on right here? The glitter. I'm drawn to the glitter. Oh man. The detail. Jerry getting his good shots in. <laughs> and it's like, what's the fuss? Anthony might be saying the same thing. <laughs> Nobody get in them. Y'all can forget about that over here. <laughs> you know, um, Range Rovers had a, the knobs come out. Uh huh. And they go back in. Tesla's like that too. Back to the porch. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, this got to be the Macan over here. It's kind of little to be the Cayenne. Sorry. How you guys? Good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at that interior. It's like cherry. It's all upgrades. Yeah. It's like a damn cockpit. All them controls. Now this color is really beautiful. It reminds me of like a Sherbert or something. Like yeah. Yeah. It's real fun. I probably still wouldn't buy it, but it's like. Neon yeah. It's fun though. This one's on right here. The Mission E. No, this That's is the kind. The Mission E. Right here. Yeah, this was a concept car. Uh, when we When we saw it, it was still a concept. They didn't even have the real thing, it was just like a so digital thing. So you think about the electric, um, what's car price, like 75? <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at the brakes. It's now, is this a for sure coming out, or? It's already into dealerships. All right, cool. How do you pronounce it? Taycan. Taycan. I was like, take can. Yeah. To take can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it looks good in white. I, like I love it. it. Yeah. yeah, I still have my little missiony icon thingy that my dad picked up from the. Um, they went to the show. You had to be like invited, specially oh, invited. Yeah. But I still have the little. I didn't even go, but I still have the little little thing. You know, little takeaways that they give you, a little memorabilia thing. Nice. I mean, it looks a lot like the Model S Tesla. You know. Keep you in the job. Hold on, let me do that right there. There you go. All right. Let me see if it's your give me something to do. You just can't open it. Can't open it? Yeah. It's locked. All Porsches are locked. Yeah, they don't let you open the Porsches. The Panamera 4, the hybrid. Knew he wouldn't be too far from this one. <laughs> I just figured you'd be over here. You like it, Ian? <laughs> she went to potty, the public potty, like a big girl. I'm so proud of her. It was stressful for me, but <laughs> still a milestone nonetheless. All right, this area is where they have the supercars, like the exotic, Maseratis, Lamborghinis, and all that kind of stuff. I remember when I was here once before, and that's when I saw the first Bentley truck. It was in here in the supercar gallery. So, I mean, honestly, in Chicago, you're not going to see cars like this on the road. Like, Chicagoans don't really get to buy this kind of stuff because the weather. The, the 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 climate is not conducive for like these types of cars, so we don't really see this here. So we got to come to the car show to see it. Even if you have the money, you're not gonna buy this in Chicago. It's just not what you do. Oh yeah. Oh, let's go down there and take a look. The Lamborghini truck and then the Rolls Royce truck. Anthony knows everybody. <laughs> everybody. I mean, it's giving me Maserati vibes all the way. Vibes. Not just like, you know, just the yeah, vibe. And I, I've only seen one of these on the road. Mm -hmm. um, it looks nice too. I like that. You like it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't like these. I don't like uh, these. Mm -mm. No, no. I don't either. 
is doing a little bit too much. It's like, it's like the car just raised up. Yeah, like. yeah. Oh, oh, the e-tron. Everybody's got an electric car offering, huh? Oh yeah. Someone think the base price has shown 84. 84. Yeah, what's in it though? I take the base. <laughs> They made it like a sofa, Connie's pizza. It does need something like this in a chop shop, barber shop. Yeah, that'd be dope. But I'm about to come up here and give me some, uh, give me an IPA right quick since they got Goose Island. I mean, since they got it. I wonder if they take Apple Pay. What you having? 312. 312. That's a, that's a, that's a safe bet. 312 always works. They used to be Michi's little jam right there, them 312s. Yeah. Uh, one 312, one IPA? Perfect. These just came out. These are 2020s. Crazy. A Jeep with a pickup truck. I don't know how I feel about it. Hi, good. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> Wait, but this oh, one over here, here though. Oh, this is what the chargers look like now. This was my favorite car at one point. Man, y'all don't even know. I was obsessed. I bought two of these in my life. Not one, but two. First one I bought was black, the second one I bought was white. They have completely changed the look of the Dodge Charger. Yeah. Um, me and Jerry are losing it over this Mercedes van here that you can, the top pops up and extends and it turns into a camping cab. And then there's a bed that pulls oh. out here. Wait, 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 wait. It's a bed on top. It's a bed on top. Oh, you can, so you sleep up top. Yeah, you sleep up top. Yep, it's like a, it's like a, um, uh, 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 what do you call lofted? It's lofted. Yeah, it's like lofted. Yeah, there you go. But I'm I'm still tripping on how the chairs, the driver and passenger seat turn around. So so this is more like a lounge area here. Exactly. And then you sleep up top. You know, just mad me up. Total recall. Yeah. Oh, my dad would just lose it if he had this. You can stow all your gear. These are for people who do like kayaking and camping and hiking and all that stuff where you need to be like toting supplies and like. All kinds of things. Okay, you gotta have disposable income for shit like this because this is just literally your camping vehicle. You wouldn't really use it for anything else. I mean, why would you? I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> They're like, come over here. I'm like, hell no, I'm scared. I'm straight. <laughs> Look at the guy right there. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Oh man, I'm low key scared. Full rundown of everything new and exciting. Please feel free to have a conversation with myself or any one of our knowledgeable product specialists on the floor. For all of us at Chevrolet, thanks for stopping by the Chicago Auto Show and wherever today takes you. We hope you find new roads. Also folks, if you hang around for just a few more minutes, right on the top of the hour, in two minutes, we'll do a convertible roof demo for you so you can see our first yeah, ever retractable hardtop convertible in action. We had to stop and get a snack for Ann. What'd she say? Strawberry. Strawberry. Kids will keep you humble, I'm telling you. You think you having a good time? You think you stunting? Whatever. Uh, Kids will be like, nope. Nope. Give me my damn snack. She wants her um, beverage. Uh, uh, PGA teaching profession. Golf instructor. The only black in Illinois. The only black one in Illinois. This is him right here. He did a special on me on uh, the Golf Channel. He did. Where, uh, they went through it. Because I have a nonprofit organization that's hitting straight golf academy. And I go into underprivileged areas and I teach kids how to play golf and get into the golf industry. Black girls are perfect candidates <laughs> for scholarships <laughs> for college. Yes, I yes. Send, send a lot of kids to college for golf. Perfect. perfect. Well, thank you for your your service and your work. I appreciate. We so appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Jerry knows him. Jerry knows everybody. <laughs> Grew up together, so yeah. Yes, so he's from dude. Robin. We all for Robin. Nice to meet you. Nice Take nice care, bro. Same to you guys. Love you. All right, bro. Hey, Sasa, we're back home. Hey, baby. Sit. 
I didn't mean to yell at you. I just want to make sure you heard me. Good girl. <laughs> and you see Sansa? Oh. <laughs> Sansa is just a big old baby. Really, she is. She's harmless. She's just a heavy, a heavy puppy. That's all. I'm just a heavy puppy. I'm just a heavy puppy. <laughs> and you see Sansa? Good morning. It's the next day. It's the very next day. I'm just getting back home from dropping Ann off at therapy and going to the gym. Okay. Per the sogginess, I never take a shower at the gym. Do you guys take showers at the gym? I'd rather die. So I usually just kind of, you know, race back home to take my shower and do all that stuff. But I'm just walking in the house. I went upstairs to grab my camera. Um, haven't even hung up my coat yet. So lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff upcoming. Um, by the time you guys see this vlog, it'll be All-Star Weekend. And um, it's looking like I'm going to be participating in some All-Star Weekend activities here in Chicago. <laughs> it's kind of exciting because I didn't plan on participating in anything, but stuff is just kind of falling on my lap, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I got people coming in town and stuff like that, so I'm definitely gonna be hosting out-of-town guests. The usual suspects, you guys, it's just gonna be Alex and Martina, but I'm really excited. Um, and I got invited to some stuff, so I'm gonna share with you guys. Girl, just check the mailbox, a bunch more tax documents. <sighs> tax season is so stressful for me. I'll be having like a lot of stuff. I'll be having a lot of stuff. I partnered with um, H&R Block this year though for my taxes, so they're gonna help me out with that. So that's gonna be amazing. Because the way that I have to file my taxes is, is very expensive. Like, I'll be spending a lot of money just on the tax service, and then I have to turn around and pay taxes and all that stuff. Um, so I'm working with them this year, and I'm gonna be blogging it, so I'm gonna take you guys along with that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Look at this super cool invitation package, you guys, from JScope Fitness. If y'all are not familiar with JScope Fitness, I'll put the Instagram page on here so you guys can follow, but it's a really inspiring page and the products are amazing for ladies who want to lose weight and, and use the waist trainers. Anyway, let me open up my invitation, y'all. The owner, Jazz Jackson, um, we're like friends, we know each other personally, so she sent me an invitation to her All-Star Weekend experience and look at this cool invitation, y'all. This is so freaking nice, so it's a whole mirror, right? And it looks like a basketball if you really step back and look at it. And then she's got her logo right here. This is just so cute. Okay, let me pull it out. So it comes out like this. Y'all, I felt so special when this came in the mail. I was like, look at this invitation. When do I ever? So it says, hey, babe. And then it's got just kind of like an intro to the experience that she's trying to put together. And then it's got the Instagram information, everything there. Let me pull this thing out. All right, let me get off the couch. Because I haven't done my shower yet. <laughs> let me get off the couch. Um, so yeah, once I open it up, you guys, it's this whole, it looks like a locker room and it's mirrored as you can see. I hope that's not destroying the view for y'all, but it's mirrored. And then each one of these girl comes out like this. And on the back, it's the invitation information. And it's just a weekend of activities that Jazz put together um, in conjunction with All-Star Weekend. So. It's really super smart from a branding perspective for her to do this, um, especially if she's identified the All-Star Weekend attendees as part of her audience or her target audience. The events are all fitness related and they're fun and they're, you know, it's got this cute invitation pack and it's all fancy looking and everything. So I think this is really super cool. So I waited to the last minute to RSVP because I wasn't sure until the last minute what my plans were gonna be for the weekend, but I'm about to sit here and send my text messages and go ahead and RSVP with my plus ones and stuff. Um, okay, so let me go get in the shower. 